In this video, I will show you how to install a printer to an HPUX Unix server. There are two types of printers out there. One is called a network printer and is assumed to have a built-in network card or attached to an external print server that supports the JetDirect protocol. The second type of printer is a remote printer which is attached to a remote system and does not support a jet direct protocol. To find out if this is a network printer or a remote printer, you issue this command hpmp admin minus uppercase A and then the IP address of the uh, printer, uh, that printer, right there. Hit enter. Well, it came back that HPNP admin not found. That's because this machine, this uh, server, does not have the JetDirect software installed. I will show you uh, on another machine that has the JetDirect product install right here so we are going to issue the same command hpnp admin minus uppercase a and then the IP address and it came back and it says that it is a network printer and therefore you need the jet direct software install in the server well, you have to find that product in the depot somewhere. I wrote a script called depot, type depot. It tells you how to use it. One of them is this minus F for fuzzy search. Um, so I'm gonna type depot minus F and then jet direct one word in lowercase, or I guess it doesn't matter, lower or uppercase hit enter and one of the popular uh, depot server is this one here and I hit enter it is for HPUX 1131 hit enter and it found two depots out there this and this it asks you do you want to show the selection uh, the contents and you can you can type A to display the contents of these two depots or what happened here uh, type 1 for the first one I'm gonna type 1 the display doesn't go all the way here but I just type 1 here hit enter and it shows the product name right here I'm going to check if we have that product installed in the server SW list grab on J okay let's try again SW is grab on J4189 yes that product is installed in the server okay the next step is to configure a printer to this machine you type HPPI you select number one for spooler administration and then add a printer to a local spooler, number one. And then you type in the IP address. It found it, it's doing a validation right now. And then uh, there, the, the given printer does not have the model script list in here. So you have num uh, two choices. Number one, accept the new model script. Number two, select a printer model from the existing printer list. Uh, let me show you this email from the client. Here is the IP address of that printer and this is the printer type. It's called the LJ9050EN. The driver seems to be HP LJ8150. Alright, so we'll look for either this or this. Gonna move this side. So I'm going to type 2 to see if there's in the list. It's not in here. Spacebar. Here you go. Number 45. 
LJ 8150s. I'm going to type Q. So now I can type 45 to select LJ 8150, laser jet 8150. Hit enter. And this is the configura configurable parameters. Uh, I'm going to change the LP destination Q name to a more descriptive name. So I'm going to type 1. Hit enter. Apparently, I already configured one, one uh, and it was called 135 underscore 1. So now the second one, they suggest to use 135 underscore 2. Or you can use your own name. Uh, I'm going to call it, um, I'm going to put the IP address in here. However, you have a 14 characters limitation for the name. So I will just use the last six digit of the IP right here, 122.148. Um, or even 135XX. 148 printer PRT okay hit enter okay so I renamed this 135XX148 PRT and the rest you just take the, uh, the default and then you type 0 to configure it there you go this printer is ready to shut down the spoiler, configure new print queue, blah, blah, blah. All right, so now I will type yes, which is the default. You can just hit enter. And finish adding this printer to the spooler. That's it. So type Q to quit. And Q to quit you're done configuring this printer now you want to display the status of the printer you type LP stat minus T it shows it shows two different printers 135 underscore one and this new printer we just uh, created they're exactly the same printer and you can do a printer test or uh, you type the command and the command is LP minus D for destination and then you type in the destination name which is the Q name and we call that 135XX122PRT there is no space here between D and the Q name and hit and uh, space the file name for example uh, you want to print the LC host something like that right um, or um, let's see resolve.com any file okay so then you hit enter after you hit enter you type LP stat minus T to see the job the print job if it is there if the printer is fast then you will not see the it in the queue otherwise you will see it there so I'm going to hit enter uh, okay I did the typo here the printer name actually is 135XX148PRT so let's do it again 148PRT enter okay and then I type the LP stat and you see it here waiting in the queue hit LP stat again it's gone no entries so it got printed so that's the way you print and this is to show the status now if you want to let's say you run out of paper you need to stop the printer no one can print you want to type the disable and followed by the printer name which is 135XX148PRT and then let's show the LP stat 
basic HS is disabled right now and then you so no other job can print while you don't have paper there you put in the paper and then you en re enable it by typing enable and then followed by the queue name and you display it again with using LP stat minus T and here you go now it's in the idle mode and enable that's the the end of this overview how to uh, install a jet rack and configure a printer and test it thank you